Hola, welcome to my series on language learning. Today we're going to talk about how to make Genesis more comprehensible. And I'm not going to say what you think I'm going to say. To make it more comprehensible, you're going to take your preconceived ideas about what is in Genesis and you're going to put them to the side. And then it's going to be easier to understand. So let's say you think that God is like a fairy, effeminate, wears a white nightgown. He skips around in the middle. He hugs lambs. He wants to be your close personal friend. And if you don't want to be his close personal friend, he, he cries a couple tears. When you read Genesis, you're going to say, wait, I don't understand. It's saying he's smiting down everybody said he killed everybody in the flood except for eight people he killed animals he sent down fire on sodom he smote them people left and right in the book of genesis and you're gonna say i don't understand well the, genesis is easy to understand you it doesn't jive maybe with what you thought it was going to be but that doesn't mean genesis is hard to understand is what you thought was in there is not what's in there you got to read it and find out. So <laughs> that's my tip for making Genesis easy to understand. And the same thing with all the other books in the Bible. They're not that hard to understand. Let them say whatever they say. If they don't match what you thought, well, what you thought was in there wasn't in there. Um, I recommend that you use a easy to read version. The NVI is easy. It's in Spanish. It's like the NIV, but it's in Spanish, N-V-I. And if you go on Bible Gateway, you can get a really nice audio version for free. I love that man's voice, N-V-I. And if you want a story Bible with pictures and little headings, this is a great one. Um, the stories are not so short that they're unsatisfying and lame, but they're not super long either. If you get a Bible storybook with super long stories, they're harder to understand than the actual Bible, and they have all kinds of little artistic liberties. This one is a good one. Manageable stories, one page or less, sensible. I recommend it. So, 